Well, since the paintings don't have any specific subject matter, uh, this, the connection with nature is indirect. Uh, it's, the studio is surrounded by trees and there is a moss garden that uh, I tend, which is also around, around the perimeter. And uh, none of these things are directly in the work, but they all influence it indirectly. Natural forms are different from man-made ones in that they are non-geometric or non-predictable. So it's the unpredictable nature of them that is most attractive to me, uh, not only the spiritual aspect. Um, also, I think natural environments and the natural sources for the painting are meant to be a kind of antidote, antidote to the digital world. The world which is more detached, my work is much more physical and the physical objects really are, uh, the paintings are like physical objects. Uh, to improvise without the limitations imposed by subject matter. That is, I can uh, feel free to cha make changes based entirely upon what I see on the surface of the canvas, as opposed to some preconception that I might bring to the canvas. Also, the focus in my work is on the physical reality of the surface. That is, the actual paint, the actual colors, shapes, what have you, not upon uh, something that, re some reference made to something outside the work. So it's a very tactile aspect to everything in the painting. Piles of sticks, people cut sticks and, and leave them, and I go by, look at them, find, find it, photograph them, see if they're useful. So when you photograph these piles of sticks, they're transformed, they change into uh, a flat thing that you can project onto the wall, right? And uh, when I build up layers, one on top of the other of those assembled photographs, I get a kind of drawing. And that drawing, uh, while it's not rigid, it's the point from which I start. And I, I start by painting uh, contrasting colors over the whole surface of the painting. And I think that uh, sometimes long periods of time elapse while I'm working on the piece uh, where I can't understand what to do next. In that case, I, uh, I wait and then, uh, and then proceed, usually having to work on more than one thing at a time. Uh, one thing suggesting what might happen in the next, in the other piece, and so on. Usually the color that I'm interested in finally achieving is not there in the beginning. In the beginning you have many, many trials. And I like the idea of building one color on top of the other to gradually work out the order of what the what the trials will result in. So intensity, uh, modulation, contrast, the placement of one color in one part of the composition and another part, all the usual things that you do when you concentrate on color. It's just that in my case, they're more, uh, they're more tactile and physical than they are in some people's work. The idea is that I work in from the, uh, the edges, edges of the canvas. You'll notice here that all the shapes don't line up, so that there's some emphasis on the division between one panel and another. In other cases, they do line up and that, that division is obscured. So I'm playing back and forth between the division between the two panels, either from the edge or from the center. And it meant primarily as a, uh, an antidote to illusionism, where you want to break away from the idea of reading the surface of the painting spatially, but 
is such a strong force from Western, Western uh, history. Uh, and to emphasize the plane, that division, I find helpful. All right. You have any, you have any more? <laughs>